Hi friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so grateful that you clicked on this video. If you've been watching for a while, you already know how much I absolutely love my dish soap spray. I use it to clean granite countertops and quartz countertops and mirrors and windows and my dining room table, even as a carpet spot remover and a laundry spot remover. I've talked about it in so many of my videos. So here you go. If you want to know how I make my dish soap spray, which is budget friendly and only two ingredients that you most likely already have on hand. Then let's get started. I call it my dish soap spray like it's some sort of grand invention or something but it's just dish soap and tap water two ingredients and I even use this old Windex bottle so I mean it's not much of an investment at all and I've been using the same spray bottle for I'm gonna say like over three years I fill the bottle up with water and then I put one or two squirts of dish soap in there tip it over a few times but don't shake it really hard and that's it i pulled some clips from my previously posted videos so you can see how i use it all over the house from the kitchen to the bathroom to the bedroom in the living room and so on and if you want to see the full videos i'll have the cleaning gratefully playlist linked in the description box and also up here in the cards as well here you can see I'm using the homemade spray cleaner on our granite countertops. I use the cleaner with either a paper towel or microfiber cloths. I have a bunch of microfiber cloths that I picked up at Home Depot a long time ago and I use them throughout the house. There's nothing special about the cloths, but I do wash all of my cleaning cloths in hot bulky water in the wash machine with regular detergent and I do use a dryer sheet and I haven't had any issues with that. They lasted a really long time. You can get yourself a pretty spray bottle, like right now I'm seeing a lot of pretty amber colored ones. You can get them on Amazon, or you can get yourself like a dedicated spray bottle from the Dollar Tree and put a nice label on it. Um, I'm not against that. Maybe one day I'll do that, but right now this old Windex bottle has been working for so long and I just keep using it. And I've seen on YouTube a lot of recipes for the homemade all-purpose cleaner calling for adding alcohol to disinfect the surface and to also keep the streaks away. And you can also add essential oils to add that nice scent. I haven't tried any of that. I just keep it to the two ingredients, but you do you. Make your own version of the dish soap spray and let me know in the comments if you have a good recipe to share. I even use this cleaner on our dining room table. I love how this is just so gentle and I know it's clean, just like if you were using a wet dish rag with a little soap on it. But with this method, my hands stay dry and I'm a little weird. I like to have dry, non-wet hands. I actually have two old Windex bottles that hold this homemade spray and are labeled as dish soap. I keep one in the master bathroom under the sink so I can use it on that side of the house for the bathroom quartz countertops, the windows, mirrors, and everything on that side. And the other bottle I keep in the kitchen for the granite countertops, dining room table, and I'll wipe down the outside of the fridge, the microwave, use it on the sliding glass door and windows and all of that. I'm really grateful I can use this budget-friendly spray on so many things throughout the house. I do still like to use a store-bought Lysol cleaner for toilets and baseboards and anything really grimy and gross, like the inside of the fridge. When things get caked up on the shelves and get really sticky, that Lysol really comes in handy. So these are my two favorite cleaners, dish soap and the Lysol cleaner. Here I'm using the dish soap spray to clean up some foundation that I dropped on the carpet. And it was like a week before I got around to cleaning it up. So it dried on there pretty good, but it wasn't really a set in stain. A little scrubbing and it did the trick. For a really stubborn stain, I have another video which I'll link below and I'll put in the cards in the top right corner as well. I used that homemade solution to get up a stain that was multiple years old and it worked like a charm. Just so you know, the main difference between that solution and this one is that solution has hydrogen peroxide in it. But yeah, check it out if you have a really old stubborn stain to get out. I even use my dish soap spray on laundry. I mean, there's no need to buy a laundry stick. This stuff works great. Dish soap is just plain amazing to me. Anyway, I had this spot on the bottom of my lounge pants and I sprayed it on there good, wash it like normal, and I checked it here to make sure the stain was out and it's gone. 
the most amazing thing I do with my dish soap spray is to clean windows and mirrors. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I swear I would clean with Windex and other glass cleaners and I'd always have streaks, no matter if I used old newspaper, which who even has that nowadays, or paper towels or microfiber. It never failed. It wasn't a good situation. I'd always be frustrated and I didn't have a good solution that made me feel good about the effort that I just put into cleaning my windows and my mirrors. And now I'm like, are you serious? Dish soap and water and microfiber and that's all I needed all these years? That just blows my mind. That's why I talk about it so much in my cleaning videos. I really just can't believe how well it works, how inexpensive it is, how easy it is to make and remake as often as you want in as many bottles as you want. And it's so cheap. So I just had to tell y'all about it. And if the smell of Windex bothers you with how harsh it is, then this is your answer. I even use dish soap and a bowl of water to clean blinds to clean the inside of the fridge, to clean the siding and rails on my front porch. I mean, the list is endless. If you think of anything you need to clean, just ask yourself, hmm, I wonder if I could use dish soap and you'd be surprised it will probably work. Like I said, I've talked about this in a lot of videos. In fact, when I told Scott I was gonna make this video for people who just need a quick tutorial on how to make it, he was like, uh, you've talked about that in like 20 videos. <laughs> That's how much I like it. He made me laugh, but I still wanted to put this out there for you to help you out. So if you like this video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you found us in the search and you're new here, I'm so grateful you stuck around here till the end. And I'd love for you to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. We post new videos every week and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Sort out all the fights. Sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that. And still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down. Smashed up all the parts. Oh.